Okay, so we're getting to know ourselves better when we understand these three main mm. planets. There's yes. heaps more with with the other planets as well, mm. but these are our three main ones. So then what we're talking about here is feeling more in touch with ourselves and what we need to do in a healthy way so that we can feel more in flow. Mm. And I, throughout my um, career or my work as a colour therapist, I've met with lots of people because my work was all about uh, finding mission and purpose, knowing what your gifts and talents are, that sort of thing. Mm. I've speak, spoken to many, many people who are in that crossroads. They don't know what they're meant to be doing and they're feeling where they're at right now um, needs to change because they mm. don't feel in full alignment. So it sounds like when you get to know these three mm. planets, you will understand yourself more so that you can then choose the direction to feel more in aligned or feel more aligned with what you're doing for. Now, I know you and I in our industry, we don't, uh, I mean, I find the word job and work really, I don't really say those words because I, mm. I live every single hour of the day in a way that feels very fulfilling for me. So mm. um, yeah, actually everything that I do, everything that I do, even Thursday night when I dance or Sunday morning when I dance or all of that is a part of what I do, you know? So yeah. it's not even what I'm bringing in in terms of income or money for. Um, but, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I think I just kind of wanted to touch on when we understand these things, we can then feel like we can choose mm. better, yeah, better places to be and better activities to do, interests and even places to live, knowing our, what we mm. like in our environment that makes yes. us feel safe or comforting, comforted or whatever it is. And then also then the work that we're doing to, you know, provide the income, I guess. Yeah, and I think that also goes even beyond to the people that, like I said before, like the people that you surround yourself with, are they you know supporting you your growth as well yeah. so we want to be surrounded by those people as people that that are vibrating at the same frequency as what we are mm. right? whatever that frequency is is perfect and then you but you'll know you just know and then i think though with so you can go a little bit further out and talk about because next after the sun and moon and ascendant I would probably talk about Mercury because it stays really close to the sun. So your Mercury is going to be either side of your sun placement or on your sun placement. So for me, I have Mercury in Cancer. It's next to Gemini. So that that is that also is the the way we express, the way we communicate, the way we um, really move through our life in. A, a, I don't know, Mercury's retrograde at the moment, so I'm really struggling with my words right now. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a great example. <laughs> yeah, right? It's, how, it's, like, it's really truly the way we communicate and travel through life. It's also like the internet and, um, you know, airplanes, cars, motorbikes, all of that sort of stuff, all of that stuff happening. And when, when Mercury's retrograding, it can slow everything down and make our minds feel like we can't operate at the right speed mm. when we continue to go fast we've got to pull back a little bit and get mm. clearer so yeah i think i think when you piece it all together because everybody's got a very different birth chart and even if mm. someone i've got a friend who's got the top three same as me um gemini taurus and scorpio even though we've got we share the same top three there'll still be different placements in everything else it's still not the same it might be similar but it's still not the same yeah yeah I just so interesting yeah because I was just thinking as you're talking about because Mercury is in retrograde right now um like can we be flexible enough to go with the flow and really feel what the energy is right now mm. we know that six out of the seven planets are in retrograde yeah so everything is in introspection right now mm. I'm literally processing a breakup I am feeling like I am in my room by 4 or 5 p.m at night and I'm just in my room now and I'm and I'm going through this process 
internally, like so internal, but it's the perfect time yes. because everything in the astrology is supporting me to be in that state. So oh. like you were saying, when Mercury's in retrograde and everything's going a bit slower, don't just have a couple more coffees because you need to kind of get on it. Go with mm -hmm. that energy and you know, you and I teach yin yoga and it's important to know those times of the day when we need to also start to slow down yeah. because then everything in our bodies, our organs and our function in general can find that harmony and that balance so that you can sleep better and that you mm. eat better because when you sleep better, you, you know, you eat better and then everything has this flow and effect. So if, if yeah. we actually are in more alignment with, what's happening in the energies then we will probably find that we are more productive if we were to take a step back when mercury is in retrograde you know go with the energy try not to fight mm. against it because it's just more of a push yes so true and, mm. and it's, it's, whatever's going to happen it's going to happen anyway but mm. if if you force it if you go against the flow and you try and push it you'll be presented with obstacles, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you just allow yourself to go with the flow and it is slow, I feel slow. I feel like everything's slowed down for me. It's mm -hmm. just like I'm, I'm, I was in bed at 7.45 last night and I was asleep at eight and it was mm -hmm. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love bed so much. <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> now, just a, just a question. It's mm. one, one, one. Mm. Um, 11 past one. Um, Amazing. Tell me your thoughts just as a discussion piece on destiny and fate. I'm watching Vikings for the hundredth time at oh, the moment. Oh, so good, isn't it? Love it so much. Mm. And, um, you know, they, they always talk about their destiny or it was fated. Mm. And what are, your, what are your thoughts about that? Like you were, you were just saying... Um, if yeah. it's meant to be, it will be, you know, what, what is that for you? So I feel like, yes, it's a real tricky one because I feel like we almost have to be able to see th those, both of those things equally that we have a choice, but also that it's going to happen. So mm -hmm. we have, we have the choice. So, you know, there's two, there might be a fork in the road and we have the choice whether we go that way or that way. And we make the choice cognitively because we're, evolved beings you know that can that have created all these machines and can do all of these things and they wouldn't have been created without choices in our mind and learning and all of that stuff so there needs to be that but there also needs to be I find a sense of surrender and trust that all that no matter what choice mm -hmm. you make it will actually be perfect, yeah. be perfect yeah. choice, and that it's going to it's it's going to work out everything's mm. going to be okay mm. as yeah. well mm. yeah it's a hard one though because i i really think you've you've I, i've always i'm always trying to grasp both sides of it because they need to be mm. because if i didn't make any choices and if i just sat around all day not like not desiring anything and not choosing to get up and you know do the things i need to do then I would also just be in a ball in the corner of the room, mm. probably just not not correspondent anymore. So there needs mm. to be that. I don't know. It's a really, it's a tricky one, but it's a great conversation. Yeah, isn't it? I think it's an yes. open-ended yes. discussion really. Yeah, yeah. Especially what we feel is true for us and what we feel we're here for. Maybe we're just learning what that is about um yeah and that feeling more connected to ourselves and then from there I think we can have a better sense of surrender um but keeping within our hearts what we truly feel is for us as well mm -hmm. you know like yes. you know me being 38 knowing that I like have this innate feeling of being a mother Mm -hmm. And having just ended a relationship, there is this big process for me in the letting go and also trusting the faith and trust in if it is in my divine path, which I feel so tr like it is true, like it will be if it's meant to be. And so also trying to like, you know, surrender to that 
as well. And yeah. And, and just then coming back time and time again to be connected to where I'm guided to be also. Mm -hmm. So feeling that um, the power, the inner power of guidance, like um, Florence Scovel Shin says intuition is to be taught within. So if we mm -hmm. just go within, we can be taught from there where we need to be, what we need to learn, what's the lessons, whatever. It is. So intuition is a big, big one for me that I feel mm. very connected to. Yes, I teach it, but yes, I'm very much learning that for myself too. Yeah. In every transition of my life. Yeah. I think that's a really important one for all of us, the intuition piece, because I, I think a lot of that has been blocked, the, that intuition. And it's with conditioning from mm. when we're very young to just trust in what the authority says mm. instead of sometimes really just knowing yeah and you, you know you you know when you just have this real sense of knowing but outside externally it's like no you definitely should not do that so mm. for me i've just not done it even though i've known that i really should do this but on the opposite side of that too, I've also done the opposite. And I always know that if I really trust and if I'm really completely honest and, and really know inside that I that I got this, that my gut knows. And this is again, another practice of yoga, like with the, the essences of the chakras and we're really opening up these places within us that have this intuition, this knowing. And when we bring all of these you know, areas of us to light, I really truly believe that all of the conditioning could go, could all go, it could all just dissolve away. And we could literally be at one with nature completely mm. and absolutely trust in our own judgment, intuition, knowing, inner knowing, you know, when we're here, when we're in the heart space, mm. which is where we're being guided to go through our practices and we just continue to keep coming back over and over and over again mm. and it's not to say that I haven't made bad choices I've made some really terrible hideous terrible choices in my life <laughs> but they've also been really really good teachers because <laughs> without them I wouldn't have made some really amazing ones as well yeah know? yeah mm. definitely growing older is is exciting for me mm. because of that I think yeah it's actually really amazing I'm here to tell you that the the more years I have the the better I feel I love it I can't wait I'm going to be 50 in a year and a half I can't wait no way yes. no wouldn't have been that. <laughs> not even close I love my friend she says um level level 38 or level 38. <laughs> You know, she's like, I'm level 38, you know. So. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Um, I'm, I've really loved our conversation. Um, is there anything you want to share or um, I say? Feel like, I feel like just get to, I feel like if you, if you just get to know, who you are more deeply by just checking what your what your astrological blueprint says about you i think you'll find that you know you're more than what you think you are and it will give you a little bit more of an understanding of why you know why do i always fall back into these you know patterns and of routines or why do i always attract these people and all of that sort of stuff will sort of just become, it'll all just get a little bit more clarity. Mm. I really, really highly recommend it. Yeah. There's a whole heap of free stuff online. You can just do it online for free. I think there's a, yeah. a, a website called Astro Cafe or Cafe Astrology or something like that. You can just yeah. type it in and then find out what your top three are. So amazing. You just need to know. Great. Yeah. Um, and then aside from that, I also would like to say that if you are new to bhakti yoga and kirtan and mantra and you haven't done it before because it might be a little bit outside of the box outside of the square i say step outside the square and do it because 
it also could change your life. No matter who you are, no matter what your age, shape, size, mm. this kind of yoga accepts everybody. Mm. There, are, there, there is nothing, there is no mm. um, discrimination. Mm. And it's amazing. And you get to meet some really cool people. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yay. What an awesome afternoon to get to chat <laughs> to you and connect even more. Really mm. love this. Very, it feels very special to me, our relationship, just how it's evolved over the years. So, yeah, thank you for being here and 